Now we're going to use an, another feature in Outlook that a lot of people do not use, um, and it's the Notes feature. You can see this little icon right here, okay, Notes. Um, actually, we can make this larger so you can see how it forms up here. Make the window larger. And as you drag this up, I don't know if you do that too, but it drags up the icons come up. This Notes feature is very handy, and a lot of you I've seen um, sticking sticky notes all over your monitors, um, hiding your passwords underneath your keyboards, behind your monitors, wherever you're doing. And that's really not an appropriate way of uh, doing business, not secure at all. Uh, but you can use this notes feature in Outlook. You click on notes and it's just like a sticky note. Okay, You can um, have a notes list, you can have different icons, and I use this to remember some uh, important things that I need to know. But let me say, for instance, I just need to pick up, after school, I need to pick up some milk. Okay? I know that you can do this on your smartphones and do things like that and send yourself a text and things like that. But this is another way, and this is just an example. Um, so here's my note. Okay? Exit out. And here is pick up some milk. Okay? Xing does not delete it. Now, another feature of this is that these notes stay in your Outlook. Okay, so um, let me watch as I drag this over. I can actually drag these to my desktop, and here I have a little sticky note up here in the corner that says, "When I double-click on it, pick up some milk." Exit out. It's still in my Outlook, but it's also on my desktop. So notes feature is very helpful. Um, you can actually attach them to calendar items, and you can color code them. So if you wanted to make them a different color and organize them that way, it's very simple to do that. Okay, so. Don't, remember, don't forget about the categorizing. I'm going to show you that in uh, counterpointments to help you out too. That's it.